dry ice. It's a Halloween staple. Frozen carbon dioxide gas. Would you look at this? A material 110 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, 78 degrees below zero Celsius. Can't touch it with your skin. That's why I'm using this glove here. Find it at the grocery store. Watch when you put it down on something like this. Listen, it screams. I know, I know, I know. It'll scream because it's vibrating. But that's not what this is all about. I wanted to show you bubbling. Now, I went to a Halloween store, found these graduated cylinders. They seem to have them sometimes at even the craft stores. Added a little bit of food coloring to each one of these so they look fantastic. So when you drop some uh, dry ice in here, uh, you now get the bubbling. Remember, warm water better than cold water. So we're gonna drop the dry ice in here like this. You get our bubbling, but there's more. See, you would think that we'd be done with this and we're just gonna bubble away and have some fun, but here's what I want you to do. You're gonna add just a little bit of dish soap. When you add a little bit of dish soap like this, you now can trap the carbon dioxide bubbles that are inside here. And so now it's, uh-oh, it's perfectly safe to touch. Would you look at this now? You reach over and you can grab the bubbles that are there and that carbon dioxide fog that's inside there is trapped inside. So look at how great this is. Well, okay. So, so maybe, uh, maybe a little bit less would be great, but it's a big show. So a little bit more is not a bad idea. You're going to keep the kids busy for hours and hours. The problem is you just can't stop it. It's just going to keep going and going and going. Tell me that Halloween's not going to be fun. You're going to throw your own amazing Halloween party, a little dry ice, and uh, a lot of adult supervision, and you're going to have a blast. I'm Steve Spangler, and this is our extremely messy Halloween Science Minute. Just a little help over here, please. A little help.